now speak to Debbie Sheldon, who's the CEO of Work Avenue, who joins me now. Debbie, first and foremost, thank you for speaking to me on the Jewish News podcast. Let's start Thanks, off. Phil. Let's start off though with looking at those numbers because I'm they're eye-watering. I know that sounds really obvious to say, but there's no way that with that number of job losses that the Jewish community, like all communities, could have been exempt from experiencing something to happen to one of them. Absolutely. We're not exempt and they are really worrying times. And I think as Rishi Sunak said yesterday, he predicted hard times and, and from these numbers, hard times are here. Um, there's, there have been many jobs lost. Interestingly, though, um, unemployment, the percentage of unemployment is at the lowest that it's been in 40 years, not showing much change at 3.9%. Um, the predictions are that it's going to rise, unfortunately, to about 7.5, some, um, 9.7 or even higher. I saw a prediction of 13%. But the reason is that we're not seeing the full picture yet, Phil. We've still got people on furlough. And we've still got people who are in this mid-stage between whether, whether they know if their jobs are secure or not. And I fear that these numbers are not the worst that we're going to see. No, and this is the problem. This is exactly what the problem is, is that unfortunately these are only the first round of numbers. This is what's so terrifying. You know, in one hit, okay, we're looking at a period of what, six months? Is it already five to six months already? Yeah. But even so, this is still the tip of the proverbial iceberg. With that in mind... We certainly don't want to be unprepared should anyone listening to this now think to themselves, I don't know if my job's safe, what do I do? What's the first thing that you would say to anyone who's listening to this at the moment or indeed possibly watching this on social media who thinks to themselves, I'm really worried about my job, but I don't know what else I can do either at my time of life or just in general, what can I do? What would you say to okay. them? The first thing to say is not to worry. I know it's a very uh, glib statement, but there really is help and there really is support out there. And in a way, the people who I've spoken to feel a little bit supported that they're not alone. You know, sometimes when you're going through redundancy, you feel it's your fault or you feel that's something to be ashamed about. And in this case, the playing field is really quite level. It's happening to so many people at all levels. So they really have to not be ashamed and, and be okay to go and reach out for help and of course us at work avenue we're here to help everybody at any life stage to earn a living um, we have seen definitely a rise in the number of people coming to us and that's made up of the the people who would normally come to us those who are nervous about the situation and what they what might happen with their job um, and those who unfortunately have already been told that they will be made redundant when the either now or when the furlough scheme comes to an end um, so it, it is very real, uh, but the support that we're here to offer is also very real, um, as well as obviously um, a very caring and um, listening ear where we can help people. There are really positive steps that people are taking at the moment, and we're seeing opportunities. I mean, believe it or not, since um, the beginning of April, we've helped um, 66 people find jobs, um, which is a remarkable figure, if you think about it, um, in a, in a you know, in a, in a place where we're thinking that it's all doom and gloom. So there are still people finding jobs. There are still new jobs being created. Someone asked me, are these the same jobs being regurgitated? So there's one person being made redundant, another person being hired. No, that's not what's happening. Um, if the people are making redundancies, that's because the job is redundant. And there are new opportunities for new work. There are still sectors um, where we advise our clients that they should look into um, and go into because those sectors are definitely hiring and we're talking about huge companies um, it, like Apple and Facebook and you can find those vacancies quite easily and happily online and we're talking about some of our small businesses as you know at Work Avenue we support businesses as well um, as well as people finding jobs and those businesses um, are now taking the opportunity to grow and need support staff and there's nothing better for us than to be able to help those businesses grow with our job seekers to help support those businesses. Well, you know, I think that the one thing that I have heard, I think what we should do is put some sense of perspective on this, by the way, that when you obviously you've said 66 versus we're talking about 730,000 people who've lost yeah. their job. Let's make this very clear, just in case anyone's listening to that and think, well, hang on a second, that doesn't sound very much. But 730,000 is the total number of individuals across the UK who have lost their job. Work Avenue obviously focuses mainly on Jewish community and therefore has to be very niche in the way it works and who it can help and who's able to help. 
with that in mind, you are actually sort of talking about a, a good number of people, given yeah. that we were told that no one was employing, no one was hiring at the, at the stages that you were talking about, helping people back into employment. And now, what I believe we're seeing from research I've done is that actually there are other job opportunities out there. They may be very different to what people have done, but we only have to look at some of the winners from this lockdown situation, such as online companies like Amazon, for example, who have Absolutely. seen the most extraordinary jump in figures and subsequently are employing people. So that's just one example of how there are jobs out there. How important would you say, though, that it is, and we hear this expression quite a lot, and I, I'm a bit worried it's a bit cliche, but what does it actually mean? How important is it for people to brush up on skills? What does that mean and how do they actually do it? Okay, really important. Um, and let's talk about two sorts of skills. We can talk about workplace, you know, real vocational skills, so the skills that you need a bookkeeping course to go into a job as a bookkeeper. And we can talk about um, transferable skills. And that's really important in this stage. We're looking at often at clients who have come out of one job and looking to go into another. And maybe the industry that they've been in isn't hiring at the moment. Hospitality, um, events those sorts of industries but these people often have fantastic management skills they often have great people skills and it's really important to focus on those transferable skills in order to find the, um, the next job um, brushing up on skills is also like you said the vocational skills really important we've been running courses all the time virtually through lockdown um, and we've helped people understand how to help businesses with their social media that their posting and their marketing for businesses we've helped people with their it skills we're running a bookkeeping course that's starting next week and we're also facilitating a cyber security course um, which is starting um, next month so we're looking where the opportunities are we're not just putting people um, we're not setting people up in industries that we don't think are growing we're deliberately looking at the industries where we feel there is growth we're understanding what people need to enter those industries and we are providing the skills to help them do it. So really you come to Work Avenue and you get the one-stop shop. Someone speaks to you about where you've come from and where you'd like to go, where the gaps are in your knowledge and helps you fill those gaps and then places you in a job. So it really is the full turnkey solution. I would just say that to anyone who's listening to this who is potentially in a position where their job is at risk, just remember you are absolutely not alone. Debbie Sheldon, Thank goodness for you and for Work Avenue and, of course, other charities that do very similar things and great work as well. Where can people go if they are feeling a bit alone and they want more information on what you and your organisation can do for them? Great. Thanks, Phil. Well, first place is to go to our website, www.theworkavenue.org.uk and see what we're doing there. And I think it's just really also important to note that we help um, people are looking for jobs, but as I mentioned before, businesses, and there are so many people who are on furlough now or being made redundant who are using this as a great opportunity to start that business that they've always dreamt of. And our business advisors are just ready and waiting to help you take that leap into your dream. Debbie Sheldon, CEO of Work Avenue. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us on the Jewish News podcast. Thanks, Phil. Take care.